New Zealand's ice hockey future may be on the rise following its comfortable series victory over Australia. The under-18 side made their first visit to New Zealand and were favoured to win the series. The teams drew game one, but it was the Kiwis who stepped it up a notch to win the next three games. But that was enough for Australia. It went really well. We improved lots over the series and um, we beat them 5-1 last night, so they didn't really want to play us today and yeah, it's a great feeling. Following game one, the Kiwis kept improving, winning each game by an extra goal margin. Yesterday's five goal to one win has the players happy with where the team is heading. In our last three games we beat them. Uh, each game the goal difference went up by one, so that was pretty good. Um, showing we've improved a lot as a team and come a long way. The Australian under-18 side had never toured New Zealand, but the tour was made possible with both coaches working for months to put it together. The Aussie senior women's side toured New Zealand in 2007 and beat the Kiwis by a 25 goal margin. But with some fast developing youth, many believe the sport is on the way up and players have closed the gap with Australia. It's getting so much stronger. Um, I look back to when I first started uh, getting in development. It's just kept growing and growing and growing and um, uh, it's, we're just getting stronger and more numbers behind the program and hopefully one day we'll be competing at the higher levels in women's ice hockey. Goulding wants to see the Kiwi side tour Australia next year and hopes to see them gain selection into world championships soon to face annual competition. And after a comprehensive victory over their rivals, that dream looks a lot closer to reality. John McKenzie, 39, Dunedin News.